Hey everyone, it's Ben. Um, just picked the, this up today and I wanted to do a little review on it. Uh, the movie is the 30th anniversary edition of Halloween 2, uh, directed by Rick Rosenthal. This film came out in 1981, was written by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. Starred uh, the legendary Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, and of course Dick Warlock as Michael Myers. Now, I, next to Halloween 2, I mean, I love the Friday the 13th movies, but in terms of really good sequels, um, Halloween 2 is amazing. And I'm so glad that Universal finally got up off its ass and put out a deluxe version, or a, as a better version than this version, which came out on DVD um, 10 years ago, and is a joke, because it's actually nothing on it. And Good Times Video had put this out a few years earlier, and when Universal had announced they were going to do um, their own version, because Universal owns the rights to the film, they distributed it, and uh, I thought they were going to put some of the extra scenes that we've seen in the television edits and things like that. Nothing. Uh, I think it just has the trailer, and that's about it. So, you know, I own it this way, but I'm much happier with this version. I also am very happy with the cover. Um, I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but they got some really cool images here. Got Michael Myers there. Got uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Got, uh, got Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. The back cover's got some more images from the film. Um, the I watched the, the cut of the film and uh, on Blu-ray, and they did a great job of um, making the picture much sharper. I mean, it looks like the film was shot just now. Uh, very, sh very good. Like the. The shadowy areas are very, it looks really good in the shadows, it looks really good and you know, images that are kind of dark in some of the earlier prints of the film are, are really good here. You can actually make out a lot of things that maybe you couldn't see originally in like the early DVD or VHS releases of the film. Um, some of the features that it comes with, um, it comes with... Um, extra scenes and these again are some of the things I talked about earlier when I said they did some uh, TV edits and there was extra scenes and what most of the extra scenes consist of are like uh, dialogue between Jimmy the uh, ambulance driver and some of the nurses uh, Doctor Mixter it also shows a little bit more detail of um, Lori struggling to get out of the hospital knowing that Michael Myers was still alive um, there's a couple other really cool things in it too. Um, one of them is the deleted ending or the original ending. One of the uh, and uh, I don't want to give it away because I don't know if everybody's seen it, but it is pretty cool and uh, it's it's uh, a question I always had about Halloween two uh, concerning one of the characters. So definitely worth checking out. Um, another interesting feature on the DVD is. A little, and it's actually pretty long. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, and it's the first time it's ever been released on DVD. And it's called Terror in the Isles. It's hosted by Donald Pleasance, of course, as you know, the ever uh, faithful and wonderful Dr. Loomis, and uh, Nancy Allen, who was in Carrie and Dressed to Kill. And pretty much what it is is it's them sitting in a movie theater and um, talking about horror films, and uh, throughout the course of the you know proceedings you're seeing images from Friday the 13th um, they showed images from The Exorcist from Dressed to Kill uh, When a Stranger Calls and a lot of uh, really great horror films so it's really worth picking up just for that as well just because that's the first time I've seen it in a long time it used to be on HBO and you could rent it on tape but it's never been on DVD before and that feature originally came out in 1984 so just another really good find, uh, and I picked this up for 14 bucks at Best Buy. So definitely, if you're a fan of Halloween, I mean, I think Halloween is kind of Halloween is the original Halloween is great, but Halloween Two is just as good as the original Halloween in my opinion. Yes, John Carpenter didn't direct this, but it feels like a John Carpenter film, um, and uh, I just love it. I've always loved it. I think it's a scary film. It's still as scary as the original in my opinion. So, um, yeah, go and pick it up. I mean, it's 
it's it's definitely worth it, and um, I'm really happy that Universal finally put something out. I mean, yeah, there's no director's commentary or you know commentary by Carpenter, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm just glad I got it now on on Blu-ray and high def with some of the extra features I've been wanting for ten years. So um, let me know what you think, and uh, talk to you guys later. Take care.